What's up everyone? It's finally that time of year again. We're going back to school. I don't have a lot of time to get my six classroom aquariums ready for the first day of school, so we're gonna have to work fast. So let's dive right in. So in the weeks that I was not at school for football or speed camp, I would always set up Eheim auto feeders on each of the tanks. These auto feeders are super simple and a must have if you're ever away from your aquariums for weeks at a time. So I managed not to lose any fish over the summer, which makes me feel good about the system I have in place. All right, so the first thing I need to do is do six water changes, clean the glass, and make sure all the decor is looking fresh. Okay, so the current status of the classroom is kind of a wreck. I've been in and out all summer for the past two and a half months to ensure the fish were healthy. I kept up with weekly or bi-weekly water changes and appropriate filter maintenance. When the initial COVID shutdown happened in March of 2020, these kept my aquariums running for two and a half weeks before I could get back into my classroom. Feel free to check out that video if you wanna see how the classroom looked then. Also, if you've been following along, you probably know that I added a 90 gallon aquarium and another 75 gallon aquarium a month and a half ago that seemed to be doing great. I now have over 45 fish and over 430 gallons of aquariums in my classroom. Time to get these aquariums looking fresh for my students tomorrow. I installed an additional python in my classroom to help speed up the water changes. This was a huge help during this process. Time to get to work. Got all of the tanks cleaned, got the water changes done, cleaned the glass. They are now all filled up, ready to go. Pretty excited about the way that this classroom looks, especially with the addition of the two new tanks here. I think it's time that we're gonna drop some food in here and give you guys a little close up of what's in each of these tanks. All right, so first for the 110 gallon, I have a mix of pellets and flakes. I think they might be hungry. You can see the four silver dollars here. They're always eating pretty good. Then you got the Jack Dempsey and Green Terror slash Gold Song. And then this fire mouth is really kind of taking control of the tank. Uh, can't take over Jack, but Jack's pretty colored up whenever the fire mouth comes out. Kavik typically tries to hide out most of the time. The Green Terror is doing okay. The fire mouth is getting a little bit to him as well. But overall, I love these fish. These are my favorite fish and my favorite tank. So yeah, this is typically the student's favorite tank. I think for obvious reasons, it's the biggest one. It's a 110 gallon custom aquarium with ultra clear glass. All right, now moving on to the 75 gallon. So the 75 gallon here, we have three fish, the massive giant Danny O here. Then we have a mouth brooding Severum, which is typically hiding behind, there he is. Yep, big piece of driftwood. And then we have approaching adult Jack Dempsey that is actually from the same gene pool as the Jack in the 110. He is absolutely stunning whenever he does come out. A little spooked after the water change. Next up is the Imbuna 90 gallon tank. They are definitely all hiding in the cliffs right now. I just put in some food, so, oh, here they come. Emerging. I just have a mix of different types of Mbuna here. I love these guys because they're so different from my Central and South American cichlids. They're so active and definitely love food. See the yellow lab there, the acai, the demasoni, and the johani. Next up is maybe my favorite tank after the 110, and that is the yellow jacket cichlid tank. So this guy is still very much a juvenile. I've only had him for about a month now, but you can tell he is going to be an absolute stunner. So he has a whole 90 gallon to himself because these cichlids are extremely aggressive. They're very similar to the jaguar cichlid, but when these things get full grown, 
They are absolutely beautiful. He's already pretty colored up after just a month. All right, so next up on my desk is my good friend Felix. Felix is uh, what we believe a short-bodied flower horn. I got her three to four years ago. She's growing super thick, but she doesn't have the classic flower horn bubble head as you probably have seen in the past, but I love her because she has so much personality. You can see she is ready to be fed right now. She's also a classroom favorite, so my students hopefully will also love her this year too. Last up is the 29 gallon community tank. You can see I got a variety of fish here. I still have Troy's original Harley Ken Rasboras. Uh, I got the Odessa Barbs, it used to be in my 60 gallon planted tank, as well as some Neon Tetras that were also in that 60 gallon. You might be able to see there, that's an Amano shrimp. It's a multiple Amano shrimps. You can see there's one, two. Actually, there's multiple there. All right, let's dump some food in for them. And there they go. All right guys, so I think I made it. I got all the aquariums ready for the first day of school. I'm really hoping that my students like them and they're excited to come to my classroom every day. And who knows, maybe I might inspire a few of them to join the hobby as well. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.